Konnichiwa YouTubers, it's Redstock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Robots in Disguise Hot Rod. This is from the Universe Classics line. Let's take a look. I got that with G1 Hot Rod. A big figure, even though it's kind of squat. So you see slightly bigger than G1. I like also the fact that he got this big plume in the back. It covers that little gap. Unlike some Transformers we know, let me see, I'll show you. Unlike some Transformers we know, like let's say Transformers Animated Grimlock, I'm looking at you, they cover this gap. Instead of having a huge gap, they actually try to cover it. All right, enough about that. Let me take G1 out. Has a rub sign, is an Autobot, if you couldn't tell. I like the fact that they molded in the chairs in there and the steering wheel, so that's pretty good. I like that. The doors don't actually pop out or anything like that, so it's not like an alternator slime. It has the engine right here. Engine black. I like the Firebird looking hood. The wheels have good molding. Very nice. Not rubber, but can't win them all. Try to pop this in, but I actually broke this figure, so it doesn't pop in that well. So it's supposed to be nice, clean lines. Looking good. No headlights or anything like that. I assume they pop out. Silver painting, red, maroon color. Okay, he had the uh, tail lights looking good. All right, not bad. Rolls really well. It does have an attack mode for some silly reason. Yeah, yeah. Not liking it. it. Reminds me of Cup now, and it's not that stable. It is all right, I guess. And let me show you the gap here. So, uh, dang, this thing is in pretty well show you what happens if you don't have yeah this thing falls apart I'm not joking so that's what that's for you have this big gap in the back here if you don't have it and yeah my thing does fall apart because the hinge is broken good looking vehicle mode 8 out of 10 let's go ahead and transform it since this thing is falling apart anyways <laughs> we're gonna split the arms or the legs out put this back up Legs fold out, a little nice little heel spur. There we go. Same thing with the other side. And my neighbor's kid is the most annoying kid you're ever going to hear because she always screams. I should tell him about that. But regardless of the fact, let's go ahead and. Okay. Sweet. Just like that. All right, and I'm going to cheat a little bit because this actually pops out like this, right? So while I have it broken, <laughs> arms pull, pulled out the arms. Okay, and this thing will rotate down and pop in. Sweet. I'm going to rotate the arms around. Sweet. Pull the fists out. Nice little tabs here. There we go. And they also have this little weapon over here, which I have no idea what's for. Slicing and dicing. Almost done here. I'm going to rotate that 180. And we're going to rotate that the wings up. Sweet. And the nice little jet exhaust plume now becomes a weapon. Yes, looking good. Short little figure. Has no problem standing up though. Because it's really squat. You got G1 here. Just for a comparison. Short, as you can see, was a shorter little figure. So let me go ahead and transform this guy just for good figure. So, good measure right there. So, as I was saying before, I can do this without breaking it. <laughs> That's alright. I was saying before, figure's all right. Close enough for government work. There we go. Just so you can see. Weird how a smaller figure gets taller. <laughs> Anyways, there's G1. But I like the detail on here. It has nice molding on the head. Really good looking has light piping yeah look at that light piping 
head swivels although the shoulders are on a ball joint doesn't move but like in a swivel don't like the gap on the elbow it has like a single single swivel right there and it has a huge gap very disjointed wrist swivels or sorry moves out in and out gorilla it does have a waist swivel but it is limited because of this back piece right here double jointed on the hips for some reason swivel on the knee bends at the knee another swivel on the hips and of course the heel spur so it's not a bad articulated plate you know you can definitely get them in certain good dynamic poses unlike <laughs> unlike g1 boy here all right size comparison there he is with g1 megatron over here so this is what we're looking at let me go ahead not a bad looking figure gonna give them eight out of ten so yeah g1 is looking rather plain compared to him all right youtubers that's all i got i catch y'all next time